Thank you, Kat, but wouldn't it be nice to get to that 80% much faster? Cue a very different battery technology that can be charged really quickly. See, these things can deliver a lot of power very quickly, and so they'd be much more useful in something that needs to do a lot all at once. Something like this. Instead of the electrochemical charging in normal batteries, this charges by electrostatic means. It's called a supercapacitor. No chemical reaction means you can charge very quickly. This drill battery, for example, goes from zero to full in 12 seconds. You can zap and go, which sounds like a pretty good name for a company, if you ask me. We use carbon nanomaterials, which are extremely fine particles at the nano level, and a large surface area is created inside one of these pouches that attracts energy very quickly. The more surface, the more energy you can attract. The downside of supercapacitors is that they can't store as much as lithium ion, so you wouldn't want one in a phone. They're best suited for things that need quick charging and big, short bursts of power, like tools and toys, like this scooter. Now, the lead-acid batteries in a normal electric scooter, like those ones, will give you about half an hour's ride time, but they'll take six hours to charge. In here, we've got a battery which only gives you six minutes of ride time, but only takes six minutes to charge. And the next generation will give you 12 minutes of ride time, and it will still only take six minutes to charge. But with that kind of ride time, it's unlikely your electric car will run purely on this tech alone. Ultimately, of course, we're aiming to go into the automotive sector, possibly as a hybrid combination with lithium. So we do the fast charge bit, and the lithium does the long distance bit. We'll take the charge in up the roadside, and then we will transfer from the zap and go cells to the lithium the power that we've harvested quickly as it's on its journey. To that end, Zap and Go is working on a way to power airport pods like those at Heathrow. Unfortunately, however, my six minutes of ride time are up, so for the moment I'll have to leave Zap and Go and zip off by car.